Well, hello students of mathematics and seekers of general truths. In this video, I would like to show you uh, not so much math, but the ability to type and communicate mathematics using a Google document. And so, you know, especially if we're working on something that's related to, you know, digital learning, uh, maybe you don't have the ability to uh, write and submit your solutions um, through a scan or through an image, then there is a way that Google Docs allow us to type a solution. So let's say I have this uh, worksheet right here the, that has a, a few problems. The area of a circle is 236 square inches. Find the radius. And I want to type it in a way that has all the good math notation. So we start out by going to the insert menu, hitting insert, and then equation. And I can just start typing, well, the, the formula for the area of a circle is area is equal to pi, and the symbol pi, uh, we can do that by typing backslash. That's the key above the enter key, right? Backslash, not forward slash. The letters pi, hit space, and automatically Google will convert that into the symbol pi. Um, R and squared. Um, so... To get the superscript, you hold down the shift key and hit this number six. So that's the caret, right? Shift six, and this will give us the superscript squared. Hit the right arrow to get out of that superscript. And now you have a pretty nice looking math formula. And then we can sort of continue this process uh, on the next line, insert equation. Well, the area in this case is 236, and that's equal to pi times the radius squared. Right. Hit enter. Um, now I want to uh, show that I'm dividing both sides by pi. So we can type insert equation. And to get the fraction bar, uh, there's a couple ways you could do it, but I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut, or at least without having to use the mouse, it's backslash FRAC, short for fraction. Hit space. And then you get the cursor in your numerator here. So I'm going to type 2, 3, 6. And if I want the cursor in my denominator, hit the right arrow, and that will bring it down to the denominator over pi. Hit right arrow uh, is equal to uh, the radius squared. Okay. All right. And you can see now that at this point, it's a little bit tedious to keep having to go up into the insert menu, click a bunch of times in order to type in a new line. So there is a keyboard shortcut for the insert menu as well. If you hold down the Alt button, that's next to your space bar, hold down Alt and hit the letter I, that will launch the insert menu. And you can see that, you see here the shortcut for equation is E, see how that E is underlined? So if I type in E, uh, now I automatically get equation editor. And if I want to, in this case, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So uh, backslash SQRT space, and that gives me the square root. I want to get a fraction in there, 236 over pi equals. Oh, and you see that if I'm not careful, I just continue typing inside that square root. So I need to hit the right arrow to get out of the square root is equal to R, okay? And then now what I can do is type this into a calculator and figure out what the answer actually is. So the answer is about uh, 8.667. So again, Alt-I-E gets me into Equation Editor, 8.667. And again, this is a value that's round, that's approximate. We don't know the exact answer to the square root or the exact value of pi for that matter. So I need to add uh, the approximation symbol, so that's backslash a p p r o x uh, equal to r. Okay, and we can, we can also just type normally in here. Uh, so this is uh, the units here of the area with square inches. So the units of the radius is inches, like so. Okay. And then all of the um, editing tools still work for this. You can also highlight this uh, and change the color of your final answer, perhaps you can bold it, uh, whatever you like to make that answer stand out. Okay. Now, I also want to point to something else here, which is that, you know, I mentioned that we don't, we have to use the, all these special keyboard shortcuts for the fraction bar and the square root symbol and such, and that could be overwhelming, but that's not 
The only way to do this, so once you launch Equation Editor, you see that um, Google actually allows you to have a bunch of uh, drop down icons that you can select from. So for example, if I want to do something like the division symbol, then I can insert it in here. So I can say, you know, 200 divided by five, something like that. And uh, there's a bunch of other things that we can do as well. Um, that you can, you're free to explore the infinity symbol, all of the geometry symbols like the triangle symbol, for example, the perpendicular symbol, um, lots of basically any mathematical symbol you can think of, it's in this list. If you happen to know the keyboard shortcut, then that's great. That's what I prefer to use. Um, if not, and I'll pro provide um, a link with the list of keyboard shortcuts. But if you're not and you're not interested in doing that, you can just also go down to the drop drop down menu here. All of the Greek letters are in here, um, including pi, I believe. It's some it's right here on this on this list. All right. So this is a tool that's available to you to use uh, if you want to communicate mathematics in the correct notation in a digital format. As always, thank you for watching. Ask for help if you need it and have a wonderful day.